a creative artist who currently serves as the president and chief executive officer of the International African American Museum, better known as I Am, and that's powerful in itself. Located in Charleston, South Carolina, Dr. Matthews' dedication to community and her accomplishments are widely recognized. She was noted as one of the most influential women in Charleston by the Charleston Business Magazine in 2021. And she was honored as a trailblazer by Career Master Magazine in, 21, in 2017. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Tanya M. Matthews. Habari Ghani, good people. Just paying attention to see who knows. Who knows what the word is today? Today is Kahuma, the day of creativity. Uh, it is my honor and delight to bring greetings from the International African American Museum. The whole watch day, watch night, Freedom's Eve is, is very special. It's very important, it's very unique, it's also very us. And I think it's really important for the community to have a space such as this, as Dr. Butler says, because I don't think that everybody understands that this is where you grew up. And this is what you know, that I have been in churches where the angels above my head don't look like me. I have been in churches where, where the people and the pictures and the Bibles and the scriptures, they, they don't look like me. I have been in places where we read about the passages of freedom, and we read about the passages of never being under the yoke of slavery, but we don't think about our own history when we talk through that. And so it's important, it's an honor, it's a privilege, it's a blessing to be able to have these spaces and to be able to center it in the Gullah Geechee tradition of Watch Night is also very special. One of the things at the International African American Museum that of course we do is that we reach back, right? We reach back to the continent so that we understand where these traditions came from. We understand where the spirit and the energy comes from. But the other thing is we are centered in the now so that we can prepare for tomorrow. So I also, I also want to encourage my Gullah Geechee uh, friends and fam to take credits as well for what has happened since then, to understand that Watch Night spread across the country that this wasn't the only place it was happening. This was the root of where it was happening. This was the community that, for many reasons, was in charge of keeping the instructions on how African Americans would stay African. And so there are many, many things that I find here that are familiar, and I never knew where they came from. There are many songs that I know. I knew how to do the clap before I got here. But I did not know where it came from. I just thought all black folk clap that way. And maybe we do, but it's because it is rooted here, and here is where we entered. And even as we left or were taken out of this space, we carry those things with us. So the last thing that I want to say is, don't get confused by the name of the day. You know, watch night, watch day. That implies there's only one day of the year that we should be watched for. That implies that freedom came and is here. We all good now. That is not exactly the way that that works. So think about what was happening. We were sitting in spaces and waiting and watching for freedom to come, but we were also preparing to pivot should freedom be delayed. We were prepared to do a little something should freedom take a left turn because we were watching and we were watchful. And so what I would say is as opposed to just commemorating a day of the past, Watch day, watch night is the day we remind ourselves and reinvigorate that we should be watching daily. Because freedom is still coming, but it's not going to come if we look it in the wrong direction. Welcome to Watch Day. Yes, yes. Grandma used to say, watch as well as pray. <laughs> we have to do that. And we appreciate you so, so very much. So at this time, now we're going to come back with Dr. Tamara Butler. <laughs> 